most commonly diagnosed cancer in the U.S. What you need to know to reduce your risk of colon cancer. The twin docs are here with a house call when we come back. Welcome back, everybody. It is 1223. In your health this afternoon, colon cancer is a commonly diagnosed cancer. And while it is common nationwide, there apparently are more common cases in Illinois than there are in many of the other states that surround us. But it is a cancer that can also be prevented. Joining us today to discuss how to cut down our risk are the twin doctors, as they are known, and Dr. Idris Abdur. Rahman and Jamal Abdur Rahman. Thank hey. you so much for coming in. Thank you for having, having us. Great Always to have pleasure. you. Okay, let's talk about the incidences of colon cancer. Mm -hmm. How common is colon cancer? Uh, it's very common. It's uh, a cancer that 4% of people have been or will be diagnosed with at some point in their lifetime. I mean, that's nationwide. Okay. And then in Illinois, you're 13% more likely to get colon cancer than you are if you live in other parts of the okay, country. Okay, now that does not make sense. What have you guys learned about <laughs> why that statistics is the way as it well, is? I mean, it has a lot to do with what can cause colon cancer. So Illinois to be a bit more of a sedentary state. We're not as active. Okay. Um, we tend to maybe drink a little bit more than most states. And then one thing that people don't think about also is the fact that we're kind of smack dab in the middle when it comes to insured states. Uh -huh. so a lot of people aren't getting the screening done. Exactly. In fact, 15% uh -huh. less screening for colon cancer happens in Illinois than much of the country. And you think that's because of insurance? I, I think that plays a part. I think because it, it's a very expensive test mm -hmm. and you have to see a doctor to have it ordered too. Okay. So, so let's talk about the test because everybody talks about how horrible <laughs> this test is, right? Yeah. Um, but let's talk about the test test and who should be getting the screening? Well, so colonoscopy, typically you're pretty well sedated, so it's not as bad as people expect, mm -hmm. but really everybody should be getting it. It's At just a matter age? of, so they say if you don't have a high risk for mm -hmm. colon cancer, meaning no family history and no pre-existing conditions that increase the risk, age 50. Okay. And well, then I think something that's really exciting, as exciting as this can be, yeah. is mm -hmm. the stool DNA testing. Mm -hmm. And so this is something that actually you just make a sample at home and you send it in and it's looking for the DNA changes that happen in polyps that are precancerous and in colon cancer. So it's much less invasive and you don't have to see a doctor to so get is that an alternative now it is an alternative but they're saying right now for people who are at low, low risk, risk because it's still okay. something that we're kind of working through uh -huh. but it is an alternative for low risk people because a lot of people and you know I always say to people too the test as you said itself is not bad it's mm -hmm. it's what you have to do the mm -hmm. night before you have to drink that horrible <laughs> stuff let's prep, be honest absolutely it's yeah. the right? prep I mean you're in the bathroom all, all night, night you're dehydrated you feel like 10 miles of bad road the next day and you're right that's yeah. what yeah and, and my first thought is oh sure I want to do that <laughs> exactly but the reality is by doing this what happens oh you will reduce the risk of colon cancer greatly. Mm -hmm. Colon cancer starts off usually as polyps. Mm -hmm. And so the goal of the colonoscopy is to find those polyps and to remove them. So I tell people the test is not great, the prep is even worse, mm -hmm. but what you're preventing is... You're you saving know. your life. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about what some of the simple things that we can do to lower our risk. So you have given us five tips. There you the go. first one, you, it says watch less TV well, and so, move more. So there was a study that actually uh -huh. showed that men who she watch... like that. Who, who, less TV. Well, who, yeah, right. who watch four hours or more on television <laughs> increase the risk of colon cancer by 35%. Now it's not the TV, it's just the fact that if you're watching that much TV, mm -hmm. you're not very active. So that's one thing we okay. always say. Okay, and so move, 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 move. move. Number saying. two, red seeded grapes. Okay. They have a lot of the antioxidants that help to prevent colon cancer, and the seeds in the grapes actually have a, a chemical that can kill cancer cells. Really? So get yes. the ones with the seeds. Red seeded seed. grapes, yes. absolutely. So, and then when I think grapes, I like to think wine. Yes, what? most people do. And, right? and, and it's the same antioxidant in the red it grapes is? that you get in the wine. Red so you wine, can do that, yeah. but there's no seeds in the wine. There's no seeds and in the wine. What if I got the red grapes and cut it in half and put the seeds? In my wine. That would work. You know, that would work. That's going to be our still be a protocol. <laughs> That's our next step. Okay. The go. next one you have is eat more tomatoes. I love tomatoes. That's right. Lycopene. lycopene. Yeah. There's lycopene. an antioxidant called lycopene. Works very similarly to the antioxidants that you see in the red seeded grapes. So again, okay. helps to decrease the risk of colon cancer. And you can have that cut up in different dishes. Yeah. It doesn't oh, have yeah. to be straight tomatoes. It can be no, tomato it can be sauce. Tomato sauce. Exactly. Pizza. Anything. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. drink more coffee. This kind of surprises me. Yeah. No. It's it's again it's the antioxidants. It's mm -hmm. the polyphenol antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Antioxidants in general are good cancer or busting agents and so yeah, Sorry, and, but it's not only that. And the cancer actually speeds up the GI tract, so it helps to get yeah, those too. toxins out mm -hmm. of the GI tract that can increase your risk of so colon cancer. So coffee helps you. It keeps it, you it really regular. Does. It keeps you really regular. regular. Yeah. Yeah. Get your morning going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's another reason to drink. Absolutely, coffee. absolutely, okay. absolutely. I just didn't know that at home. Yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> and then eat less barbecue. Why is that? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Nobody wants to hear that as summertime is coming. I know. I love this. Yes, but actually, barbecuing food puts these little toxins on the food that increase your risk of colon cancer. And so we tell people you can still barbecue, but pre-cook the food first. Leave it on the grill for maybe five to ten minutes. the entire GI tract. Yeah. Too. Okay, so, and, and it's the charring too, probably. The charring. The charring. It's the charring, charring process. process. Okay, yeah. curious. You know, March Madness is here. Are you guys big into that? Big time. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Ooh, Absolutely. Ooh, quick pick. Villanova. 
I'm going to go with Michigan for a naysay. Oh. <laughs> when you guys come back, we'll let you know if you actually uh, did well. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Great to see you. Thank you. Always really important tips. I want people to go out there and get screened if they have not. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having us.